All right. What's up, everybody? Keith Jameson. Go back here. You got to Hillary. One across the percent of street. Short preview today. Going to get like right to the points. I got like a crazy small time window, but it's a great slate. You know, we got two powerhouse offenses, Chiefs uh, versus Chargers. We've got a ton of studs. We got some values. We've got some injury news. So we're going to jump all in. If you enjoy these videos, like, subscribe, comment. I don't remember if I said it already. I did. Sorry. Two sales pitches today. Um, big injury news will be Austin Eckler. Suppose everything I'm reading is that he's going to play that, you know, they've been that they're planning to the, the big question. What we kind of want to watch is, is he limited? Cause then we could get the likes of Justin Jackson would be my preferred guy. Um, or why am I blanking on, on the other running back? This, this, this is what short time does for you. Um, oh my God, get the, or Jeremy Kelly. Kelly would probably see some, some short yardage. If, if what ended up happening is if you don't see Eckler at all, like if he's out, you possibly could just fire up both, get a great captain, get the studs you want, and then fire up Kelly and Jackson, you know, get all the touches because they would probably be a timeshare. And you get the red zone touches and you get the pass catching one. But if Eckler is in but limited, I think I would be Jackson. I just think he's the, the more like all around player, more, you know, it's going to get the target share more electric, more efficient. Kelly would be like the short downage guy. But I think Eckler's in, so this could all be for not. And then if Eckler is in, I think I'm going to fade. My build right now doesn't have him. I, I just don't like the idea on this slate of taking a risk for Eckler when we have, you know, safer guys around him. Like, I feel better about Mahomes. I feel better about Hill. I feel better about Herbert. I feel better about Keenan Allen. I feel better about Travis Kelsey. So I go to myself, why would I risk it? Which means in GPP, probably Captain Eckler and see what happens. So. That's where I'm at in the Eckler situation. That's the big injury news. Keenan Allen's in. Mike Williams could struggle a little bit outside. Keenan Allen has a history of torching the of torching the Chiefs. So, you know, he's my favorite receiver on the Chargers side of things. All right, let's talk about, like, the builds. All right, I think it's very much in cash and optimal. Two quarterbacks, you're going to plug Mahomes, plug Herbert. Me and Zach were having a conversation before taping this, you know, are we good with naked Herbert? Are we good without pairing with wide receiver? My thing is absolutely I am because especially if Eckler's in, right? Now we're going to spread targets between Eckler. We're going to spread targets to Keenan Allen, to Mike Williams, to the mixture of timeshare tight ends, to your random, you know, Guyton's or Palmer's, all of this. I'm good just going, I'll just take Herbert and move from there. Mahomes is Mahomes. I don't think you paid him in cash. Fading both quarterbacks and GPP, considering their ownership, I think that's very in play. Next step. So once we got the quarterbacks, I think it's a great slate to play your kickers. So we scroll all the way down here. You know, my, my joke is always that kickers kick, but in showdown, man, just getting the likes of the production of 14, 13, 9, 12, 9. That's just the last five weeks, guys. That's crazy, right? That's a touchdown and 30 yards as a running back. You know, that's, um, you know, what is that? That's, uh, let's call it like four catches for 100 yards from a wide receiver. Like that's production for 4,000 that you don't get. And we got two good kickers here. We've got Bucker and we've got Dustin Hopkins. We've got Hopkins logs too. 13, 11, one, boo. That's that's the sucky outcomes that you take on with the kicker. 12, nine. These are crazy big scores for under 4K. So I think it's kind of a two kicker night, two quarterback in the night. And then depending on where you go in the middle, you know, or if you're willing to punt a kicker captain in optimal, you can probably get up to the hills to a Tyreek Hill. Or I think Travis Kelsey, um, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, and Keenan Allen are all a little underpriced. I think Kelsey really sticks out to me at 8,600, and Edwards Hilaire at 7,000 really sticks out. I want to highlight Edwards Hilaire as I put him on the cover. Um, since returning from injury, we're getting back to seeing kind of close like Williams is still going to mix in but we're getting 75 80 percent market share and like some blowouts are are, are kind of skewing this but since he's back 15.6 11.2 19.2 Denver Las Vegas both games got kind of out of hand but we got three touchdowns in that period he's getting some of the goal line work he's getting the targets which I really like three three two um and the Chargers especially with the injuries to the defensive line and the, some of their linebackers, and we don't have most likely. Um, oh my God, why am I blanking on the safety? I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I'm uh, I'm I'm going too quick, but I, I, you know, great guy from FSU, and I'm just I the, the name has, is is lost from me right now. 
But you know, some of the, the Chargers' best defenders are out. This is a really good position that um, Chiefs could actually establish Edwards Hilaire here. It has a shot at a big game. So I really like Edwards Hilaire at 7,000. Could leave you, depending on your captain, anywhere from getting Hill down to Allen. You probably could mix an Eckler there. Or you could go down even further. I think Jared Cook at 5,400 is a little bit too expensive. Um, let's see. But like Byron Pringle, if you wanted a value, depending if you wanted like a quarterback at, at captain, I think Pringle is establishing himself as like the third wide receiver. I heard a stat when watching the last Chiefs game that his quarterback rating is pretty great throwing to Pringle. And then Pringle immediately like drops like two balls. But um, I think Pringle is kind of their established number three. Now Hardman's losing more and more snaps. Demarcus Robinson, YOLO, I think is there as well. So I think that that kind of covers it. Quarterbacks, kickers. Really like Kelsey, Edwards, Hilaire, Keenan Allen in that mid-tier. I think Eckler is kind of a good GPP um, leverage because I think everybody's just going to be scared if he's getting limited. Um, you know, I think Mike Williams, YOLO, but, you know, I prefer Keenan Allen to Mike Williams. You know, there's a price difference there. Uh, but Mike Williams definitely gives you more upside. Mid-tier is pretty rough. That's why we're, we're looking kickers. Um, you know, Last thing I'll just say for, I don't think anybody's going to go it, but Chiefs D is really, it's kind of interesting here. They're playing much better. Um, Chargers offensive line is banged up. We know Herbert can get a little bit antsy in the pocket, can be turnover prone. Not many people are going to go there. So I think that that is worth a look as well. All right. Thanks so much. Once again, this is Keith, aka Gear Guys 31. See you.